Hi everybody, Dave here from Pro Tools Answers. So I thought I'd make an, a, an interesting little video this morning because I've been forced into the position of picking myself up a new Apple Mac purely for the purposes of recording this show. Uh, so what you may not see going on in the background uh, when we're recording these episodes is we've got a whole number of different apps running and my 2012 MacBook, um, pretty high spec, you know, i7 2.8, 16 gig, SSD. Uh, it was absolutely screaming at me uh, during the recording sessions and a couple of times actually reset itself because the Mac just got way too hot. So I ended up having to pull the trigger on getting a, a new system uh, and really just for the time being because I was looking at the current MacBook range and thinking I don't want to buy any of these um, but I need a Mac right now. And Apple, are, uh, I think, just on the cusp of announcing a new bunch of MacBooks, possibly with a slightly updated specification. I'm keeping my fingers crossed anyway, because there's not really anything in the current range that, that makes me go, oh, I really need to buy that. Uh, so I just picked up a cheap uh, Mac Mini M1. Little bit of a risk, I know, um, because Pro Tools isn't yet qualified for the M1 and obviously all of this other the other apps that we're using. Um, it, are they going to work? Is all of this stuff actually going to work on the M1 chip and with Big Sur as well because it was shipped with Big Sur. So I bought the thing thinking if it doesn't work I can just send it back. I've not really lost anything and then figure out some other solution for recording Monday's show. Um, and you know I was delighted to find out during just getting the thing set, installing everything and testing everything, that everything works really nicely. And there are even uh, the, the, all of the, the companies that make the apps that we use, uh, they have silicon specific builds um, for this, for their apps. So I'm all good at the moment. So this, uh, this video is actually just me stress testing the system with everything that we're using uh, to record the PTA episodes. And I thought it might just be interesting for you guys to see Pro Tools running on an M1 chip um, on Big Sur, because as, as I said, um, it's not qualified. Avid haven't officially qualified. Um, a lot of people ask whether Pro Tools runs on the M1 and they ask whether it runs on Big Sur. And I'm able to demonstrate how it runs. Um, I'm not going to be here to say it will definitely work for you. Um, I've got I've got very little on this system. I've just got the stuff on there that I need to record PTA. That's all I'm going to be using this, this Mac for, just recording the episodes. Um, so it's not going to be packed up with any other software that could possibly conflict with, uh, with Pro Tools. So this isn't a guarantee that, that Pro Tools is going to work specifically for you on an M1 and with Big Sur, but I thought, hey, you know, I've got to stress test this thing. Maybe you guys can come along as well. So let me get my Zoom meeting window out of the way because we run our we run the collaboration side of, of the episode filming on Zoom. You may have noticed. Um, and let's boot Pro Tools up and see what happens. I mean, this thing is lovely. <laughs> if, um, you know, once everything is qualified and, and guaranteed to run, you know, all of the plugins as well, because I've got a huge plugin suite, uh, I'm going to be so happy uh, if I can pick up a, a good quality MacBook in, you know, Q3 of this year when they're, when they're rumored to uh, to be releasing. So there we go. Pro Tools boot, booted really quite nicely. As I said, I haven't got any plugins on here, so it probably didn't take very long to, uh, to catalog everything. And I've just got a very, very simple session uh, with Boom on it. And we see everything loads really nicely. Um, all that the Mac asked me to do when I was installing Pro Tools, because Pro Tools was the second thing I installed, I think, um, it insisted that I install Rosetta, and which, you know, it wasn't a, a surprise. We know that there is that, that software layer between uh, between Pro Tools and the Mac. So, um, but it, 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 it booted lovely. Um, if I hit play... You know, it plays fine. And all that I'm gonna be using 
Pro Tools for during the, the Pro Tools episodes, uh, the Pro Tools Answers episodes, is just to demonstrate technique uh, on the door and how to do things. That's the point of the episode. So I don't need to be running huge sessions. I don't need all of my plugins on there. Um, so this hopefully will be enough to get me through the episodes. And I'm not kidding. Uh, my 2012 MacBook was absolutely screaming at me. You may hear a little bit of fan noise in my microphone. I've done my best to to be able to mitigate it, but you know, there's very little you can do when the the the, the microphone and the fan are next to each other, and the fan is it, the, you know the MacBook is trying to take off. Uh, we you know there's nothing deadly silent now. It's beautiful. So I'm so happy. With, and this is the base model M1. You know, uh, let's have a look, a uh, quick look at Activity Monitor actually, and see what's going on inside the system. Because all we've got here is uh, is eight gig of memory, and it's, so far it seems that Camtasia is is recording pretty pretty fine. We've got my video up here. Uh, my MacBook would have it running very very janky. Uh, frame rate would drop significantly, and here everything seems to be just lovely so the so Camtasia is using a, a significant amount of CPU you know but we're, we're talking essentially a phone chip here uh, it's it's you know and it, it's wonderful it's really smooth it's really silky it's really fast um, so I'm holding out a lot of hopes that the Apple's releases in Q3 whatever those systems are going to be are just going to be a dream to use. So I hope that was interesting for you. Definitely interesting for me because I know now that this system works and I don't think I'm going to have any trouble when I'm recording episodes of Pro Tools Answers uh, like I have been for the last few episodes. Um, so there you go. If you want to, if, you know, if you're able to, to jump in with Pro Tools on Big Sur, this is, uh, this is the latest release of Pro Tools, by the way. Um, version 12 2020 so it's the latest build and just runs really really nicely so if you're able to jump into it and you're not running huge huge sessions i haven't tested huge sessions on this i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to be spending all the time installing each of the plugins just to see if it works i've got a very specific reason for buying this machine and it isn't for for production my macbook does beautifully with running large sessions on Pro Tools. Um, so I can deal with that for now until I have to, and or until I'm able to get a new one. Um, so hopefully that will still continue for another nine months or so. Um, but yeah, you know, there's a little bit of confidence possibly that Pro Tools runs quite smooth um, on a Apple M1, the base Apple M1 um, with, a, uh, with Big Sur. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.